are some reasons I think you should be a bigger weirdo. Number one, it's freaking fun to be yourself. That should always be number one. And like, you're awesome. It's good for everybody when you're being yourself. Which brings me to point number two. It totally shifts your relationship dynamics in so many ways. But one of the biggest is like when you are a big weirdo, everybody around you feels safer. Like everybody feels safe to accidentally be like a little bit weird in the quest of being themselves. And so like it opens you up to so such more precious connections too because it really like opens the doorway up to for vulnerability and closeness with other people and with ourselves too like confidence isn't just something that you're born with confidence is a skill it's something you practice figuring out who you are it is a journey all things that just like being a weirdo, being willing to like be a weirdo is gonna help you with it. Another thing, like it, it makes life more joyful. Like sure, sometimes you're gonna make other people laugh and sometimes that's gonna hurt a little bit. But like most of all, you're gonna make yourself laugh if you can like keep going with me in this for a little bit of time. And that's gonna help you start to take yourself a whole lot less seriously. And just circling back to fun again, you're going to start having a lot more fun. Life's going to start feeling a lot more light because it, it feels like heavy AF right now. I feel like laughter is literally such a real way of like breaking up stagnant, just like crusty energy too. Like it's good for you. Like laughing makes you healthier. It's super healing. Like I said, not only for you, but for like everybody the whole collective energy for you. <laughs> it's gorgeous and it's inspiring and it's super needed, especially right now. Weirdness moves us forward. All big changes start with one weirdo. And here's the secret, everybody's a weirdo. We're all just our own separate scents and flavors. If we could start accepting that about ourselves and everyone else more and just like if we could start moving in the world together in like a let's work together kind of way imagine how much that could change being a weirdo is just really being yourself and i just wanted to say too like not everybody's gonna like you when you're being yourself some people are gonna like be repulsed by it here's the thing those aren't the kinds of relationships that like um you have to be anymore or, like you want to be nurturing anymore in your life like in 2024 it's just like why there's no point to it anymore like there are so many other people out there like you at this point who will love and accept you for exactly who you are and like it's not worth wasting your time on everyone else